Hey guys, let us learn about lysosomal storage disorders and glycogen storage disorders in this video. So I have concise them in two different sheets. So by the end of this video, you learn about what all you need to know in lysosomal as well as glycogen storage disorder. So watch till the end. You have questions in the end also. So let us get into LSD which are of four types MPS, Spingolipidosis, Pompis and Wallmans. Pompis and Wallmans are also under LSM that is lysosomal storage disorders. Pompis is also involved in glycogen storage disorders. So it comes in it is common for both GSD and LSD. Coming to Wallmans disease W for watery diarrhea. So Wallmans disease presents with watery diarrhea and failure to thrive. FFTT means failure to thrive and adrenal calcification is an important feature in Wallmans disease. Adrenal calcification. Wallmans disease is due to acid lipase deficiency whereas pompis is due to acid maltase deficiency or alpha glucosidase. Now we need to learn MPS and spingolipidosis in detail. All MPS are autosomal recessive except Hunter's disease which is X-linked recessive. Similarly, in spingolipidosis all are autosomal recessive except Fabris which is X-linked recessive. Okay. So here it is Hunter's and in the next column it is Fabris. Now 1H is Hurler's, 1S is She's, 2 is T for T Hunter's, 3rd one is San Filippo which is the most common, 4 is more, more is more Q and 6 has X in it so Mortex has X in it so 6th disease is Mortex Lamy there is no 5 in MPS and 7 S for S Sly and 9 N for N Natovix X is Mortox S is 7 that is Sly and 9 N is Natovix so all these names you have to remember in the same order along with the numbers so sometimes they give you only MPS type 3 in the options they don't give you as San Filippo disease okay so you need to learn them in the order now coming to the enzymes, alpha L hydronidase, L for Hurler L and she's disease is partial deficiency of alpha L hydronidase. Coming to hunters has TE in it, the enzyme also has TE in it. San Filippo is most common and it is due to heparin sulfatase deficiency. Morcure, more that is more lengthy name, N-acetyl galactosamine 6 sulfatase, more lengthy name. Coming to Mortex Lamy, it is Aryl Sulfatase B and Sly is Beta Glucuronidase and Natovix is Hyaluronidase. You don't remember uh, all the names, you just need to remember the first two L Hyaluronidase and Hyaluronate Sulfatase. Hurlers and She are same. She is just the partial deficiency of the Alpha L Hyaluronidase. Coming to Spingolipidosis, you don't need to remember in the order. Just the names are enough. Gorgeous disease is because of glucocerebrosidase, otherwise called as beta glucosidase deficiency. Nimenpix is pingomalinase. Fabris is alpha. And Krabis is beta galactosidase. Tesax and Sandhoffs are because of hexosaminidase deficiency. Tesax has only A, so hexosaminidase A. Sandhoffs has A and D in the name, so A and B. Alpha is for Fabris and beta is for Krabis because Krabis has two Bs in it. And Faber's disease is ceramidase deficiency. Now Pompis and Wallmans is done. This Faber's disease is, divide, uh, is classified under lysosomal storage disorder and it resembles the rheumatoid arthritis features like the nodules and pain. Everything resembles rheumatoid arthritis. So Faber's is due to ceramidase deficiency. Now let us discuss some confusing enzymes here. So glucocerebrosidase otherwise called as glucosidase. There, there is alpha and beta subunits, right? Alpha is Pompis and beta is Gaucher's. Remember U for U, Gaucher has U in it. Whereas galactosidase is there. In galactosidase or galactocerebrosidase there is no, no U, right? So glucose, I mean Gaucher's doesn't come here. Here comes Fabris and Krabis. So Krabis has 2B, so beta. Fabris has only 1A, so alpha. Aryl sulfate is A and B. B is for X, that is Mortex Lamy disease, which is the sixth one. Whereas A is for metachromatic leukodystrophy. This MLD also comes under lysosomal storage disorders. Just remember that MLD is due to the deficiency of Aryl sulfate is A, whereas Mortex Lamy is Aryl sulfate is B. So this completes all the enzymes and the disorders names. Now let us discuss about MPS, that is mucopolysaccharidosis, in detail. All the mucopolysaccharidosis presents with gargoylic faces that is broad forehead, flat nasal bridge, upturned nose, macroglossia and cloudy cornea. 
Claudiconia is seen in all MPS except hunter's disease. In order to hunt something, one must have good vision, right? So, good eyesight. So, hunter's disease does not have Claudiconia. Their cornea is clear. Coming to skeletal deformities, bullet-shaped metacarpals, beaking of spine, spatula-shaped ribs, all this together constitute dysostosis multiplex. So, this dysostosis multiplex is more with morcure. Coming to viseromegaly, Hepatosplenomegaly is seen in all the MPS except for Morcure. Morcure does not ha have everything in more but not in uh, Viseromegaly. Coming to intellectual disability, all MPS presents with intellectual disability except for three diseases which are four and four reverses six right in the Roman number. So, four is more. Morcure remember it has more IQ okay. It has I and Q right. Morcure is more IQ. And sixth is X, right? X is Mortex Lamy. And she's disease 1S, which is the partial deficiency of alpha L iodinonidase. Coming to inclusions, MPS have really body inclusions in the lysosomes, but this uh, Morcure disease does not have any inclusions and no mental retardation and no viseromegaly in Morcure. Morcure, only one thing is more, that is more IQ and the name. Uh, the enzyme name is also more, right? N-acetyl galactosamine, something like that. Coming to the difference between hurlers and hunters. Hurler has both R, so rapidly progressive. Hunter is slowly progressive. Hurler is autosomal recessive. Hunter is X-linked recessive. And the enzymes already discussed. Cloudy cornea is absent in hunter's disease. This completes the MPS in detail. Overall, in, in MPS, the most common is San Filippo. That is the third one, MPS 3. So, this completes the discussion about all the uh, mucopolysaccharidosis. Now, let us discuss about the spingolipidosis. Spingolipidosis have different names, right? Gaucher's, Neiman Peaks, Krabby's, Fabris and all. So, let us discuss them in detail now. Individual diseases have some clincher points. So, you need to find those clinchers in the question and come to the diagnosis. So, Gotcha's disease has microcephaly. Remember this very important point that it presents with microcephaly and developmental delay and Erlenmeyer flash deformity. They give you x-ray sometimes and there will be flash shape deformity of the long bones. So, you need to find out and marrow is affected. So, pancytopenia and the bone pain is there. Ouch, ouch is gauchers. So, ouch, ouch is goucher. So, when someone is in pain, you give a tissue paper, right? So, crumpled tissue paper appearance is seen in goucher's disease, which is pass positive and oil red were also positive. Coming to Neiman Peaks, here pick means big. So, everything is big here. HSM, that is hepatosplenomegaly. And cherry red spot is seen here. Foamy appearance in splenic aspirate is seen. Electron microscopy shows zebra bodies in Neiman Peck's disease, which is due to sphingomyelinase deficiency. Coming to Febris disease, the mnemonic goes with the same name Febris. F is febrile episodes, A is alpha galactosidase and angiokeratomas, whereas beta galactosidase is double B, that is Krabis. Remember here itself. Coming to B, B means burning pain, okay burning pain of hand and feet because of peripheral neuropathy and B for boys X-linked recessive. So, Fabris is X-linked recessive in spingolipidosis, right? Restolar autosomal recessive. Same way, in mucopolysaccharidosis, everything was autosomal recessive except for hunters which is X-linked recessive. And in Fabris, there is an accumulation of ceramide trihexoside and C for cross that is Maltis cross appearance in the urine. So, this completes the Fabris disease. Coming to the Krabis disease, 2 B is beta galactosidase and B here denotes brain. So, brain that is cerebral palsy, peripheral neuropathy and vision problems like optic atrophy. And B for B again globoid bodies are seen, globoid cells are seen in the white matter of Krabis disease. And bilateral thalamic hyperdensity is also seen. See, everything that I have highlighted are the clincher points that you need to look for in the clinical kind of questions. Now, there are two diseases left over, Tay-Sachs and Sandhoff's. Those two together come under GM2 glandiosidosis. This is due to hexosaminidase deficiency and has A and B and Tay-Sachs has only A. It is present in Ashkenazi Jews, developmental delay, neurological defects and the increased startle reflex that is hyperacusis is the clincher word here. You need to remember that thing and cherry red spot is same. Tay-Sachs, remember 
it presents with macrocephaly so macrocephaly remember a mnemonic cast canavan's disease alexander disease sandhoff's and tay-sachs here the diseases of concern are sandhoff's and tay-sachs canavan's and alexander are entirely different diseases but you need to remember them under macrocephaly whereas gaucher's is microcephaly in gm2 gangliosidosis tay-sachs remember it has sack of onions so onion skin appearance is seen in electromicroscopy of tay-sachs disease now let us discuss about the diseases uh, which are categorized together based on the symptoms okay so peripheral neuropathy frebis and crabis cherry red spot is seen in both neiman pics and tay sachs uh, neurodegeneration is seen in tay sachs and metachromatic leukodystrophy so metachromatic leukodystrophy it is due to rl sulfatase a deficiency right and it gives tigroid appearance in the white matter presence with ataxia dementia and unsteady gait in neiman pics you see hepatosplenomegaly but in tay sachs you do not see hepatosplenomegaly tay sachs present with tiny liver like remember like that tiny whereas neiman pic pic is big now let us discuss about glycogen storage disorders which is divided into liver gst and muscle gst liver gst presents in commonly with hypoglycemia hepatomegaly but no exercise intolerance whereas muscle presents with exercise intolerance and normoglycemia these are the common points with uh, every gst but uh, in few gsds like third and fourth one we see myopathy also let us discuss about this uh, liver gst is first in muscle gst it is 2 plus 5 is 7 okay so pompis mecardels and tarois is muscle side 2 plus 5 is 7 remember like that whereas 1 3 4 6 are liver One for one, one gar kis due to G six P deficiency. Okay, glucose six phosphate is deficiency. Three for C that is score is four for D. Anderson has D, and sixth one is Hurst disease. Let us discuss about one gar kis now. G six phosphate is deficiency, which is a common enzyme to both glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis. So since two cycles are hampered here, it leads to severe hypoglycemia, and it presents with lactic acidosis increased lipids hyperlipidemia ketosis and hyperuricemia overall most common gst is liver gst whereas in muscle gst most common is mecardels and mecardels is most common in adults and adolescents also coming to the features doll like faces is the clincher point with thin extremities and there is massive hepatomegaly and renomegaly but there is no splenomegaly in von gar case coming to coris which is otherwise called as forbis or limit dextrinosis it is due to the enzyme deficiency d branching enzyme whereas a is for b c is for d c for cori d for d branching a for anderson b for branching enzyme So when we discuss about the clinical features, Coris has splenomegaly in contrast to Von Gerkes, which does not have splenomegaly. But in Coris, there is no renomegaly. When we discuss about Anderson, it is a severe disease, usually dies at the son's age, that is less than five years of age, due to cirrhosis and progressive liver damage. When in the patients in whom cirrhosis sets in, there is no hepatomegaly. Usually, glycogen storage disorders, liver GST presents with hepatomegaly, right? But with Anderson, which have cirrhosis set in, or Coris also, which have cirrhosis set in, there is no hepatomegaly. Now, let us learn about muscle GST. Pompis, acid maltase, and alpha one four glucose it is deficiency. It is under both lysosomal storage as well as glycogen storage disorders. The clincher points here are floppy infant, macroglossia, and cardiomegaly. so heart pumps blood right so cardiomegaly that is heart is pompis disease whereas cardiac failure and progressive cardiac damage leads to death within 2 years diagnosis is by increased serum creatinine kinase increased serum ldh and increased acid phosphatase so coming to mecardels disease it is due to muscle glycogen phosphorylase deficiency there is burgundy colored urine because of myoglobinuria which occurs due to rhabdomyolysis and there is second wind phenomena seen in mecardels disease which means when a person starts walking he gets a pain and he takes a rest so he takes rest for some time and then he resumes back with more energy this is called as second wind phenomena when we discuss about tarois disease it is due to muscle and eryth- erythrocyte phosphofructokinase deficiency which leads to hemolysis and the hurst disease he for he hepatic phosphorylase whereas muscle uh, phosphorylase is mecardels disease m for m muscle h for h hepatic both are 
glycogen phosphorylase enzymes only coming to the important points that you need to know under glycogen storage disorders so as already discussed most comments are written over there and there are type 1 is divided into 1a and 1b 1a is von Gerke's and 1b is due to glucose 6-phosphate transporter deficiency in the liver endoplasmic reticulum the clincher point that you need to remember here is it presents with neutropenia and recurrent bacterial infections there is a recently added GST which is due to GLUT2 transporter defect so Fanconi Bickel remember it as bifur 2 and there is type 0 GSD also which is due to glycogen synthase deficiency coming to liver GSD with myopathy and GSD with liver cirrhosis both are 3 and 4 ok there is another disease called Dannon's disease which is due to deficiency of LAMP2 it is same like pompous disease it affects heart cardiomegaly is seen so the confusing terms again here are all F's Forbis, Fabris and Farber Forbis is Coris so C for D debranching enzyme accumulation is limit textin Fabris is 1A alpha galactosidase ceramide trihexoside Farber is ceramidase that is ceramide Fabris and Farber you have learnt in spingolipidosis of lysosomal storage disorders whereas Forbis is glycogen storage disorder guys here are the two sheets that i have condensed this topic into i will provide this pdf in my telegram channel the link to which is provided below in the description of this video so you can go and download from there all the six pages are posted there now let us try to solve this question so all the clinical features are given and cirrhosis is mentioned and amylopectin is there so amylopectinosis is otherwise called as anderson's disease right so amylopectin cirrhosis and anderson's disease now let us solve the second question doll like faces is there and increased lactic acid triglyceride uric acid level so one girl case will be the answer now try this question and answer this in the comment section below so if you get if you guys like this kind of content please do support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel we also have a telegram channel the links to which are provided below and there are many other playlists from different subjects you can go through them and all those are made easy with mnemonics thank you